What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. The worst producer of all time. The worst producer of all time. Back with another video. In today's video, we got ADSR's Hexel. All right, I've been wanting to review this one for a while, so I finally got around to it. And it's 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 a steep curve to get over, and it's kind of like a, a mind puzzle. So, But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video i upload to the channel and if you're not good with music theory this is not for you i'm just gonna be honest with you unless you just want a new toy right now you can buy it for 17.99 and they do give a 30 day free trial so it's, it's a midi sequencer more like a melody maker or a midi uh generator kind of thing so we're gonna check it out and i didn't see any videos about it in FL Studio, so that's cool. I'm be one of the first ones to show you. All right, let's go to FL Studio and check it out. So we're in FL Studio. This is Hexel. Um, it gives you a default preset menu tab, and you can save your presets as you create. Emitter, which is like your play button, it starts off blank, and then you put an emitter somewhere on the tab, and that's where you'll start. Then you can start to create the MIDI notes once you label your emitter or your play. You can reverse so if it's like an arp or something you do redirect you can redirect it to a different note out of the scale or into the scale and then you can press a stop so the melody doesn't go to a high note or a low note or a note that you don't want in play okay also has um, in the new one swing you can change the note length the sequencer length the velocity and the transpose all right so let's dive into this so the first thing i did was i went straight to the presets because i didn't know what to do and when i went to the presets i went to the trap 2010 because i want to be like lex luther i want to be like Southside. i want to be like i think i'm big me so this is what it comes up with and then up here you can export how many you want to go out if you just want to export it four or how many at a time So you're dealing with that, all right? I don't know what that is for you, but if you don't know music theory, it's going to be kind of hard for you to get over this hurdle. Then they have the billionaire format. And what I like to do is just drop down the MIDI. So they have about 75 presets overall i'm gonna go through a couple more in the hip-hop category but you got dance edm techno chill kind of lo-fi vibes and of course you can always create your own all right uh, let's see we, uh, let's get a good name humble i'm pretty sure that's the kendrick lamar So it gives you a starting point of what to look for I and mean, obviously you can get lucky and create something that's mind-blowing but the chances of you doing that are pretty slim and you're gonna have to know some type of some type of music theory to get through this So this could be good for like a two change type of vibe. Let's go to like 132. So you can get some good trap melodies out of this if you know what you're doing. Let's say you don't know what you're doing and we're starting from scratch. We're just gonna hit reset on everything and hit the reset button down here. Just go here. You're gonna put the emitter on, I'm sorry. So we're going to be working in B. Let's say you want to do a chord. This one would be B minor. You can just move it over and B minor comes out, right? Let's say you want to go uh, over. Well, if you go up, we know that these are the um, perfect fifths. To the left would be the minor chord. So it's going to be a minor. So let's see how this works out when we do that one. Okay, so it just stacks it on top of each other. That's not what we want. I'm still working with it, but I'm just trying to show you what it can do. 
Oh, okay, I accidentally put in two. Nine. Oh, okay, then that's where you can put note or what you want. And I'm putting nine there. And let's move that over. Interesting. It did not work. I got it because it's stacking on top okay so that's what you cannot do you cannot stack on top you got once you get a play emitter you then you go to MIDI note then you can do all the extra stuff okay I got you we're learning on the fly so let's say we started there with the doom and then we wanted to get some notes in see how that does ah uh, gotcha okay we getting there and so I don't want this to go any higher than that so I might want to put a, a reverse on it Let's see how this sounds this is interesting And then it comes down to uh, a redirect. Let's see how this works. Okay, so it didn't go down. So I created a melody. And it's weird, like my mind is wired the way my mind is wiring compared to what I'm used to when Scalar or um, Melody Sauce or something different. Okay, so let's see. Hey! I think I'm in B minor. I got kind of crook right there. Finally got a little bit of it. Let's see. I think we should. Well, I put A up for sharp minor. I just want to make sure we everything's in. And everything's in key except for the F. So we got to move the F. Okay, so when we go back in Hexel, let's move the F. Let's see what it is. It's D in there. Okay, so we can use D. So let's use that. All right, don't like that one. That F has some character to it. F was was rolling. So you get kind of like a two chains Gucci Mane type of vibe with that one. Let's do another one. All right. I'm, I'm okay so let's reset it I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna save it as user presets to change and that way I know when I'm using that that's it one thing so you're not guessing then we're gonna reset all right this time we're gonna go to E but see I'm already messing up emitter e minor and then your notes so this time i want to go up and let's see what we get from there all right so you know you can play with that or you go this way okay nothing exciting so far uh, let's go over here change this to a, a minor see what we get from that all 
okay I think I believe because it's not connected to anything so what if we took this and redirected it to this See how this works. Okay, so I got to redirect it better. So I'm trying to understand how you redirect. So it connected to that. Does it need to be on this one? I think they got to be touching. hit it here redirect I'm gonna get it y'all I'm not gonna get it y'all at least I'm trying I'm trying some kind of fashion I'll get there but yeah let's go into one more in the electronic indie pop magnolia okay so this one starts here I'm guessing it's gonna go this way then it's gonna reverse let's see what they give us too high on the tempo So should you buy or deny Hexel? I don't know. You know, it's fun trying to plug in the honeycombs and the hexachords and all that, the hexagons and all of that. But then it can be very frustrating if you're trying to do a song quickly or you got artists and they're just looking at you. Man, are you playing a, a game? Are you playing Tetris? So it's up to you on this one. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I would go with Scalar. But if you like playing around and like just plugging in stuff seeing what you can come up with on shrooms or something maybe but for me i'm you know i'm just gonna say hey just put it to the side and this i'm not gonna mess with it probably anymore but it was it was fun in the moment all right it's your boy hollywood floss the worst producer of all time let me know what you think and uh keep on subscribing to the channel i appreciate you guys thank you thank you <laughs>